The story starts at Ringhouse nuclear reactor site on the west coast of Sweden. We were working beneath reactor number one. We're now entering the control rod drive mechanism room and as you can see you should never trust CAD models. Reality is always much more complicated. We had to take one of our robots through this room and then up this red ladder through a very small hatch and into the room we called the jungle. You can see there's really very little space to move around. And the pipe that we had to replace was part of this mass of pipes that you can see in front of you. And the reason for needing the robots was that access to that pipe was down this narrow 80 millimeter wide corridor, round avoiding these pipes and then down. And that's a picture of the real leak in the reactor. Ringhouse also had to show the inspectors that they had the ability to fix any of the other 156 pipes in case there was a generic reason for the leaking pipe. The approach that we took was to provide one snake which came up through a hole in the floor and reached round the back of these large pipes to get cameras to get a view of the work site. We had a second arm which delivered all the tools. The cutting and the welding was done from within inside the pipe. The manipulation arm is about 0.8 of a metre long. It's seen here carrying one of the fixtures, one of the jigs, that was used to locate the pipe and hold it securely whilst we cut it. Here you see the manipulation arm removing the pipe and now conducting tack welding on the new pipe to hold it in place. This shows a gas shield in use and then finally we had to remove all of the jigs and fixtures and return the reactor to a usable state. The inspection arm came through a hole in the floor. It had to make a very sharp 90 degree bend immediately coming out of the hole and then snaked its way around these large pipes in order to get the cameras into the right position. Here you can see the structure of the arm as well with the wires and the segments. You'll also notice that the robot actually hits that pipe on the right. That's not a problem because the robots are compliant as well. Here's the view that you can get. And it was amazing how much faster we were able to do this repair job by having the cameras in the right place. We had to back the snake out, and of course that's not quite the same problem as getting it in there in the first place. This is the manipulator arm installed in the jungle room just below the reactor core. There wasn't very much that we could shoot in here, because the robot disappears off down its narrow corridor. The repair was completed on schedule during the summer outage and the whole project was a complete success.